Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you the top 5 best laptops for students in 2023 through extensive research and testing. I have put together a list of options that will meet the needs of different types of buyers. For more information I have included links in the description box down below. Now number 5 on the list is MacBook Air if you're looking for the best student laptop and you're comfortable using Mac OS. Look no further. When Apple rolled out its line of M1 powered products in 2020, the company made a huge splash. As the first laptop to receive Apple's in-house system on a chip, SOC, the company's thinnest and lightest MacBook Air ever became one of the most exciting Apple laptops in recent years. This next-generation MacBook Air is powered by the new M2 SOC, making it better than ever and delivering outstanding performance. The only real criticism we had to level at it was the price which is a bit steep if you want a MacBook but you're on a tighter budget, you may want to consider the 2020 M1 model. Though its fanless design can result in thermal throttling compared to the Pro, we were able to run intensive tasks without experiencing any major incidents of throttling. Another upside for intensive users is the battery life, which is quite stunning and beats out many of its competitors. It's not going to be the cheapest option for students, but for those who have a slightly bigger budget, this is hands down the best student laptop out there. Now number four on the list is Acer Chromebook Spin 311 if versatility is a top priority. Then look no further than the Acer Chromebook Spin 311. This all-rounder has all the makings of a great student laptop, from its good battery life to its robust build and solid usability. However, the Acer Chromebook Spin 311 takes it further with its impressive levels of versatility. It has more than enough ports, especially considering its size. Its two-in-one form factor is perfect for those who want a laptop and a tablet but only have the budget for one. We enjoyed using its touchscreen display, though its maximum brightness means does render it difficult to use outside. As a diminutive 11-inch machine, it's also incredibly portable. Despite its small size, the keyboard and trackpad are both responsive and satisfying to use in our experience. We do wish it had a little more power, as it can stutter just a little when asked to run more intensive tasks. But for the student that needs a versatile little laptop at a very reasonable price point, the Spin 311 is an ideal computing companion. Now number 3 on the list is Dell XPS 13. Further down this list, you'll find the Dell XPS 15 which packs a larger display and a discrete GPU, an ideal choice for students who need a bit more processing oomph to power through video editing or number crunching workloads. This model uses integrated graphics, which means that it's better suited to more everyday tasks like answering emails and writing up essays. But oh, what a great little device it is for doing those lower intensity tasks. Dell's XPS laptop line has long been one of our favorites, and this new 4 2022 model is no exception, with a super fast 12th gen Intel processor and some extremely competitive pricing on the lower spec models. Spring for a more powerful version and you can get more storage, faster performance, and a higher resolution touch display. The Dell XPS 13 is also incredibly thin and light, making it perfect for fast moving students. If you've ever had to run across campus to make it between two classes, this writer certainly has. You'll understand the value of a lightweight but sturdy laptop that can be quickly tossed into a bag for your next campus sprint. Now number two on the list is Surface Laptop Go 2. A premium laptop doesn't have to come with that premium price tag and the Surface Laptop Go 2 is affordable even in its most kit out configuration. But it does more than just look great and offer a low price tag. It's a well-built machine encased in a mostly aluminum shell. The bottom is plastic that feels like it can handle its share of wear and tear. Its keyboard and trackpad are as good as it gets, even if there's no backlighting. There has to be a compromise somewhere for the price, after all. Despite the lower resolution, the display is actually surprisingly stellar. In fact, we didn't realize it was not full HD until looking at its specs. Its 3-2 ratio gave us a little more vertical real estate to work with despite its smaller 12.4-inch screen. Performance-wise, it's not going to win any awards, but we were able to do plenty of multitasking while going through our daily work. 
The last thing that makes this such a solid companion to matriculating students on the go is its all-day battery life. During our movie loop test, it managed an impressive 8 hours and 25 minutes. Now the last product on the list is Acer Aspire 5. What falls under the Acer Aspire 5 umbrella would probably constitute 5 or more different models for another brand. So, picking out the right one for you can be confusing. Not only can you find it with a whole range of processors from both AMD and Intel, but you can find it in three different sizes. That said, you can get some pretty powerful CPUs and enough RAM to do some light gaming. Even with a base 14-inch model, we were able to squeeze out some respectable results in our performance testing. And it also gave us a decent six and a half hour battery life, which should last you most of the day as long as you're not running intensive tasks. It might not be as slim as some of the other entries on this list, but it's not too heavy, weighing in at under 4 pounds for the 14-inch model. But, what makes this worthy of consideration is its price. No matter which model you're looking at, you're getting a lot of value for a fully featured non-Chromebook laptop. I hope you liked the video. See you guys next time.